Happy Vlogtober day four. It's day four. I gotta pick my shit up. I did not um, come back on camera last night because I was really tired. Um, I ate so much junk that I threw up. Just threw, I made myself throw up, but like I felt so sick. I kept burping up. Here's what happened. I ate a bunch of gummy worms. We usually sit in the back the last row we usually sit in the last row so because tim and i both babe <laughs> and we sit in the last row so we can smoke so we can babe and uh it was full when we got there even though we got there half an hour early we always get there early so we can sit in the last row and the last row was like really full so i was like oh fuck so we sat like i don't know three or four rows down and that's my, can you hear that? Jesus, my computer's working hard, girl. Hard. That's not done already. There's no way. My video's like 40 minutes long and I just, oh, it was just that one clip that it saved. You asshole, that's not what I wanted. Dang it. Hold on one seconds. Anyway, I'll do it later. Um, Cause I gotta hurry up. Uh, cause my, it's like 1036 and my homecoming makeup people will be here at 11 and I still have to clean my station up. Anyways, um, I, we usually sit up top, we sat down below and I was like, oh my God, I hope no mind sits beside me or behind me or whatever, but it got really full. Um, and these people fucking, first of all, I've never been to a movie where the people watching the movie, like I felt like the entire theater was at the first ever movie they've ever been to in their lives because everybody was so fucking loud. Like when you go to a movie and you, the movie starts, so previews, whatever, you talk at whatever decibel you your little heart feels like talking at. When the previews are on, when they're doing all their stupid shit, I'm fine with that, girl. But when the fucking movie starts, shut your mouth, turn your decibels down about 10 fucking levels, please and thanks. The bitch behind me, I don't know if she and her boyfriend and the guy she was with, I don't know if they did not get enough attention as children <laughs> or if she's just that fucking annoying or it was first time she's ever been to a movie <laughs> because she was literally one of those bitches that's like I want everybody to hear me loud just loud and through the entire movie I got the uh hillbilly trailer commentary from the entire movie which was um less than enjoyable and I didn't say anything I was like nope just let it be girl just let it be and here's why because I was this close from turning around and saying, hey, 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 I don't know if you've ever been to a movie before, but like when the movie starts and you want to talk about the movie, normally what you do is whisper so that way the rest of the people watching the movie don't hear you. <laughs> okay, so if you could just do that, that would be great. Thanks. But I knew. I knew what type of person she was and she would have went the fuck off and just like caused a scene. So I was like, let me just fucking deal with it. Every, oh God, dude. I mean, like, let me just tell you something. If you're one of these people who, um, you know, fuck that. I was going to say no shade, but fuck that shade. All the shade, all the shade, girl. If you're one of those people that like think it's cute or funny or think that everybody else thinks that it's like super comical for you to make commentary on the movie that you're watching at like optimal decibels it's not I'm here to tell you it's not it's not cute it's not funny it's just real fucking annoying so hey next time you go to the movies just don't okay just just don't just don't so other than the hillbilly trailer commentary the movie was really fucking good it was really dark and disturbing and there were a few parts where you were like whoa can't believe that was fucking happening right now and there were a few parts where you're like holy fuck i did not see that coming like there was one part where aiden was like whoa what i totally didn't fucking see that coming like it's pretty fucking disturbing but 
as disturbing as it is and as fucked up as it is, it's not like it's any worse than like any other movie out there. Like I'm a pretty fucked up person. Like I got fucked up brains and I like fucked up dark ass shit. Like one of my favorite movies is Gummo. If you've never seen it, G-U-M-M-O, go fucking watch it and you'll figure out real quick what type of person I am. So anyway, um, it's really dark and disturbing, but it's like nothing like they were talking about online. Like the media is making it out to be like, oh my God, it's so disturbing. Nobody's going to be able to handle it. Like it's not any worse than like any other violent movie out there. It's not any more disturbing than any other violent movie out there. You know what I mean? So I don't know why everybody's making a big fucking deal about it. I don't know if you've heard or seen, but everybody's making this huge deal about it online and like totally slamming the guy that wrote it and it's just really fucking stupid, and the movie was actually really good. However, as good as it was, I will say that I did not, and I talked to Tim about this too, and he, like, totally feels the same. It didn't, like, scream Joker to me, because I know it's supposed to be, like, a different take on it, and it's supposed to be, like, Joker's origin and how he became the Joker and why he is the way he is. Um... It, it didn't, like, scream Joker. Like, when you watch, like, Wolverine, if you've ever watched, like, the origin movie of Wolverine, like, that, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's the fucking Wolverine. But I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was because it was Joaquin Phoenix and he had never been the Joker before or what the deal was, but it just didn't scream Joker. It just, to me, seemed like a movie about a crazy fucked up dude but not Joker. Like, I didn't correlate it with Joker. I don't know what it was, but Joaquin Phoenix was so fucking good in this movie. He's such a good actor. And I'm, I just got done editing my vlog from yesterday, and I started saying this, but I cut myself off because my neighbor was, like, right outside my window. But here's why. So, Ashton Kutcher, I saw Ashton Kutcher, I think he said it on Hot Ones, he was on Hot Ones, if you don't know what that is, it's like where these dudes like sit down and um, eat hot wings, and it's almost like a talk show, interview show, where they interview celebrities, but they eat like the hottest of hot wings while they're doing so, but can we first, if you've ever seen that, can we talk about how the guy that does that show has like absolutely no personality whatsoever? Like they need somebody else interviewing them celebrities because that guy is just like a brick wall, watching a brick wall. He's like the most boring person ever. Anyways, um, what was I saying? I had a, a pumpkin spice latte today with four extra shots in it, so <laughs> just putting that out there. Um, Oh yeah, so I was watching Hot Ones and Ashton Kutcher was on there and he was like explaining how you differentiate between a really good fucking actor and just a good actor. Like a amazing actor and just an actor. So he said, this isn't verbatim, but coming from him, he said, when you think of Gary Oldman, you don't think of... When you watch Gary Oldman play a part, you don't think, wow, that's Gary Oldman playing that part. You think, God damn, that's Dracula. You know what I mean? When you think of Ashton Kutcher playing somebody, you think, okay, that's Ashton Kutcher playing this person. Not like, wow, that's that person. Do you know what I'm saying? And he said the same about Joaquin Phoenix. When you see Joaquin Phoenix in a movie, you don't think that's Joaquin Phoenix playing that, that character. You think, like... Watching the movie, you didn't think that's Joaquin Phoenix playing the Joker. You thought, like, that's the fucking Joker. Like, he is that character. He is Arthur. So, I think he's a really good actor. But I just thought, what a really good way to um, describe, like, differentiate between a good actor and a fucking amazingly killer actor. You know what I mean? Like, what a good distinction between the two because there are like really good actors but then there's those people those people that you don't see out and about that you don't see on social media that you don't know who they are in real life basically that's what he was saying like you don't know who Joaquin Phoenix is you just know the characters he plays basically which I thought was a really good description but anyways I just wanted to hop on here before I start uh cleaning my station up and doing my makeup and stuff. I'm probably not going to film it because 
it's I don't like asking people to be on camera it's weird it's awkward we don't fucking live in LA girl it's not like every person is down for a camera in their face I may take like before and after pictures and I'll pop those up um when I come back and get done so I am gonna jump off here and clean my station up because they gonna be here about 15 minutes probably more like half an hour because my cousin's always late <laughs> She's like me. She's like, oh yeah, we'll be there around 11-ish, which usually means around noon, but that's a good thing because, uh, excuse me, because I have to clean my shit up. I don't know why I just sat here and edited in yet certain days long instead of cleaning it up, but I did, so there's that. Okay, so I am going to bump off here for now, and I will catch up with you guys, and we'll be, oh my god, I just saw... You see that? Did you see that? Oh, I hope they're not here. I'm going to be screwed if they are because then they're going to have to watch me clean my stuff. Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Goodbye. Hey, beach. I'm back. I have the absolute worst headache of life. Oh, my hair is so bad. I don't know if it's because I was, like, concentrating when I was doing their makeup and, like, <laughs> really, really concentrated and, like, staring at them. But, oh, God, my head hurts so fucking bad. So, Makeup turned out good. I'll pop up some pictures right now. If I remember, if I forget, tell me in the comments and I'll like pop them up in tomorrow's vlog or something. Right now I'm on my way to the stove because uh, we are so, like, I feel like I live on Wisteria Lake, girl. So, my neighbor has a smoker, and, like a food smoker, not like a pot smoker. My neighbor has a smoker. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna buy a brisket. And I, I don't know, I, my head hurts. So it's like irritating for me to explain things because I have such, I, dude, I got a mad headache right now. I never get headaches and now my ears are ringing. But anyway, um, my neighbor has a smoker and a couple of weeks ago, he's like, oh, if you, everybody wants to throw in on a brisket, I'll smoke a brisket and then me and you guys and the neighbors across the street can share the brisket. <laughs> one of these weekends so he we got it on Friday and or he smoked it Friday whatever we got the brisket needless to say so we're gonna have brisket tonight so I gotta go to the store and get maybe some macaroni and cheese or something to have with it I've got cornbread and all that at home Tim said he wants some Ben and Jerry's so I gotta go to the stove oh they, oh. they took her signs down my friends that passed away salon was right there and they like somebody else bought it and they took all their signs and stuff down it's so weird to see anyways um what was i talking about oh yes tim wants some ben and jerry's so i gotta go in and get some ben and jerry's and i might get a special tweet for myself tonight i don't know maybe not because i ate so much at the movie theater last night like i literally had to come home and like make myself throw up because I was like burping throw up and I, I was just like on the verge of throwing up. I felt so shitty and I just kept eating gummy worms because we vape and I don't know if I mentioned this earlier. I think I said something about it. Oompa loompa doompa dee doo. I've got another puzzle for you. I'm so ADD. Anyways, I just heard that and it like went through my head. Anyways, as I was saying, I vape, okay? And because those, we were sitting in front of those people, we couldn't like really vape in the theater. I mean, I did a little bit, I ain't gonna lie. But because I couldn't do it as much as I wanted to, I just kept eating and eating and eating gummy worms. And like, oh my God, dude, I ate like two and a half bags of gummy worms by the stomach. This was after we'd already went out to eat, after I had eaten some popcorn and uh, some other accoutrements, I don't even know what, but goddamn, I, I just felt like a big bag of dicks by the time I got home last night. I like couldn't even function. That's why I didn't get back on camera. Um, once we got home and talked to you guys, because I was like, oh my god, I'm going to fucking throw my face up. I feel so disgusting right now. I can't even fucking function in life. So, uh, and then I was pissed. I was, like, irritated because the dumb bitch that was sitting behind me wouldn't shut her fucking mouth. <laughs> Can you tell I have a headache? Because I sound like the saltiest bitch of life right now, don't I? 
Anyway, so Tim was out there today with the jackhammer, hammering that big block of concrete up. It was like, when he got done with it, it there was enough cement to like fill a fucking sidewalk. It was insane. Why you would ever feel the need to fill a four foot deep hole full of concrete to put a basketball hoop up is beyond me. Even my neighbors came over and were like, what the fuck? Why is that hole so deep? Like they fucking like really filled it in. So now remember how I was saying, like when Tim was talking to the neighbor, was it yesterday's vlog? Yeah. When I was doing my makeup in yesterday's vlog and the neighbor came over and they were talking and I was telling you guys about how Tim's grass is like his pride and joy. He spent all summer getting his grass to look so nice that a fucking Scott's Lawn and Yard employee was like, oh my god, your yard looks so nice, okay? His yard looks so nice, and now he's got this big gaping hole in it. I mean, we filled it with dirt, but it was this big gaping hole, so it, or I feel so bad for him. Okay, let me run into the store real quick, and then I will see you guys when I get out. Hey, beach, we back. Okay got my stuff from the show. I got Tim's haagen -Dazs. They didn't have the Ben and Jerry. Where are you going, Beach? They didn't have the Ben and Jerry's. Uh, he wanted some American dream. But they was out because our fucking Myers sucks big gorilla balls and they're constantly out of things. Gone up and go. go. Okay. Thank you, old man. Thank you so much. Anyways, um, I did not get anything, but I did get some butter because we, it's a just night in my house. So Aiden, um, is like super into AHS now because he's older and we have been watching this particular season together as a family. We never watch the TV above our fireplace unless it's like a show that me, Tim, and Aiden all want to watch. Otherwise, that TV gets watched probably about once every two or three. We just don't watch TV. Probably once every two or three months. Um, so, every time it's like tradition now, even though we've only done it three times I think so far, but every time we watch a movie or watch a TV show together and make caramel popcorn, I use Blast of Butter. First of all, if you are a popcorn person, Blast of Butter Butter Popcorn is the best fucking popcorn in the world. It's like better than movie theater popcorn. I'm not even fucking kidding you guys. You never have Blast of Butter. Fuck it up, Veronica, because it is so good. It's so buttery and salty and good. So then, I take and make like this real quick homemade caramel this let me just tell you the recipe right now i'm gonna tell you the recipe for caramel corn my homemade caramel corn and it's the best thing you'll ever fucking eat in your life it's the best caramel corn you're ever shoving in your face okay you take i usually do it with two bags of popcorn because it makes a lot of caramel so two bags of popcorn you take you know pop your popcorn make your fucking popcorn however you want you don't even got to do that you can just like make the popcorn all fucking natural shit from the kernel itself so make your popcorn and then on the stove put a pot on the stove you do one stick of butter one oh shit yes one stick of butter one cup of light brown sugar mix it together melt the butter down add the sugar on medium heat okay keep it on medium heat stir it up until it's well incorporated i usually take my little whisk and whisk it up a little bit and then you leave it alone you don't touch it you set your timer on your stove for five minutes right let it it's going to bubble and do things and stuff but don't touch it don't stir it don't do anything with it let it sit there and bubble okay you got that you writing this down for aka okay so five minutes set your timer for five minutes when your timer gets to the four minute mark, you will add a teaspoon, or if you're me, a, 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 a nice pouring, nice pouring of vanilla, real vanilla, not imitation vanilla, real vanilla flavoring. You add like a teaspoon per the recipe, but I just dump some in there. So you add vanilla at the four minute mark. Once it hits the five minute mark, you're gonna take a teaspoon of baking soda because the baking soda aerates it and it makes it a little bit more fluffy and easy, easier to like, 
distribute throughout the popcorn. So at the five minute mark, you take a teaspoon of baking soda, plop it in there, whisk it around, and you don't need a whisk, you can use a bucket spoon or a fork or whatever the fuck you got, girl. Whisk it around in there, and then you're good. I mean, you can, I usually leave it on the stove for like maybe another minute or two just to get it like mixed up and incorporated. And then you pour it on your popcorn and stir it in and Oh my god, it's so delicious. It's the best thing you've ever had. I'm not even fucking kidding you, girl. It's so good. And it makes a decent amount of popcorn. Depends on how caramely you like your popcorn. But I have used that recipe on two bags of popcorn and it evenly coats the popcorn. And you even got, once you get to the bottom of the bowl, just a little caramel popcorn. So good. Also, Pro tip, if you make a bag of popcorn, open it up to where you have, like, before you open it and, like, dump your popcorn out, open it up to, like, the top of it. Just pop it open to where it's only open, like, that much, where no popcorn can fit through. Take it and shake it over your trash, and all your little kernels will fall out. All the things that didn't get popped will fall out, and then you won't have kernels in your popcorn. I know. I'm a magician. <laughs> You don't have to tell me. I already know, girl. When it comes to food, this bitch knows what's up. She knows what's up. She knows what's good. Thank God my fucking headache finally went away. My headache's starting to go away from, uh, I took, we have like arthritis medicine or some shit like that. So I took that in my, my headache, she is the goal. And thank God. Oh, Tim must be done mowing. He must have decided not to, what's that called? Weed whack or whatever it is. It doesn't really need weed whacked, but... It's whatever, girl. Our yard looks so lunch and green. It literally looks like sod. He's done so good on the yard this year. Like, girl, our yard looks fucking good. Whoops, that was my door. Let me show you. Look how good that grass looks. Look at them straps, beach. Look at them straps. Anybody under the age of 30 won't give a fuck about what I'm talking about right now because nobody cares about their grass under the age of 30. But when you own your house, you like want your shit to look legit, proper, good. You know what I'm saying? I know I do anyways. So, I am going to go in and heat up our brisket, make some cornbread, make some beans. I'm so excited about the cornbread. The cornbread that I use is by this brand called Maze, M-A-Z-E. It is the best cornbread ever. I always thought, like, oh my god, this is, like, the best cornbread I've ever had in my entire fucking whole existence. But I really found out how good that cornbread was because we had a cookout a couple of weeks ago. And I had, we made, like, barbecue chicken. We had beans and cornbread. And I had made that cornbread. And everybody there was like, what kind of cornbread is that? What's the recipe for that cornbread? Tim's Uncle Ed was like, what does the box look like? Because, God, that cornbread's really freaking good. It's really good. It's really sweet and, like, fluffy and good. Okay. So, I'm going to go in and get started on that. Um, I will see you guys in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Damn, a bitch needs Botox. I need to, I'm going to call my mom and see if she wants to go get Botox with me next week. My mom don't get Botox, but she can come with me for moral support. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hello, I am here to part you and I don't think that that's how it goes, but what else? Uh, so we watched AHS. I had some caramel pop. My pop caramel popcorn didn't turn out like it usually does. My caramel popcorn didn't turn out how it usually does. I don't know what I did wrong. Like, it tastes the same, but it was, like, gritty or something. I think what happened was I did not have any light brown sugar left, so I used dark brown sugar, question mark. I wonder if that's what the deli was, if that's why it didn't turn out. I'm not really sure. Anyways, it is 8.51 in the p.m., and I'm going to bed, dude. I gotta get up at 4 o'clock in the morning, so I'm gonna go to bed. I have to work tomorrow. I don't know if there's gonna be a vlog tomorrow because I have to work tomorrow, so I don't know what gonna be up with it, you know? Maybe I'll, I just, I know I'm not gonna wanna grab my camera at 4 o'clock in the morning and talk <laughs> because I'm gonna be tired as fuck. So, um, sh maybe tomorrow afternoon. I'll get on the vlog and I'll have a vlog for tomorrow. I'm not sure. I guess we'll see where the day takes us. Because it'll be your 
Monday, but my Sunday, because I'm, you know, backlogged. Anyway, he just, it's just like, okay, what do you guys think of it? Are you watching it? I mean, I think it would be really cool if it wasn't American Horror Story, but because it's American Horror Story, you have very high expectations. Like, the bar has set itself real high with the first three seasons, and has not even come close thus far. I don't know what the dilly is with the writers, but they need to get it together. Although this week there were like some plot twists up in there. I think that something's going to go down with the bitch that runs the camp. Like that's like her brother or something. Like the killer guy's like her brother. So I don't know. Something's going to go down. And I think she killed all the people, not him. Because he said he can't remember doing it. But then... I think that, but then he like kills other people, so I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. It's... He's in there laughing. He's in there laughing like the Joker. What are you doing, to baby boy? I just heard him flying out here. What is that? Hey, Tim must be back there laughing like the Joker. Do you hear him? He's going, ah, ah. anyways, okay. My house is crazy. What is that? <laughs> it's always fun in games till somebody gets hurt. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go and see what these goofballs are doing. I will um, see you guys possibly in tomorrow's vlog. Peace. And she can grease. Girl, I'm out.